Good morning. This is Marie Holiday, and it is December, de December the 27th, 2020. And I hope everybody had a fabulous holiday and fabulous Christmas. I hope you got some rest. And before we get started, I just want to remind everyone, if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so you can be notified of ongoing uploads. And uh, with that being said, let's get down to today's topic. Uh, I want to talk about what is recovery, and I'm going to explain it from a different perspective, so pay attention. And I'm going to present it this way. First of all, before I describe what recovery is, as a licensed clinical addiction specialist, I've been you know, in this field for over 20 years, and, and I always love uh, breaking these topics down in everyday language. So first of all, before I can talk about what recovery is, let me first just briefly describe, present the disease of addiction from a different perspective. First of all, when a person is suffering from alcoholism or drug addiction, or I don't care what the drug of choice is, when they're in active, full-blown addiction, there are some things that occur along the way. You know, of course, the obvious excessive alcohol, drug use, but they also lose other things along the way. For example, it's the psychological and mental destruction. You know, excessive alcohol or drug use will begin to change how the person think, how they feel. It, it controls their emotion. It can cause them to feel sad, depressed, sometimes suicidal. It can sometimes have them uh, paranoid your thoughts. So there's the psychological and the mental death that goes along with the disease of addiction. There's the social destruction, meaning the social death because they are in full-blown addiction with the lies and the manipulation and the irresponsibilities, they begin to lose uh, important relationships, you know, uh, destroy relationships with the mother, father, sister, brother, child, people in the neighborhood. They may have been fired from the job. So that's the social destruction. That's the social death. And then with the excessive alcohol and drug use, uh, um, the individual now, the user, they're not paying attention or they're not caring about in terms of eating right, eating healthy, going to the doctor's appointments, paying attention to their lab work. So then you may begin to see the physical signs of addiction in terms of health problems. You're going to begin to see the person physically with the, well, uh, uh, through observation. They're not looking good, you know, health problems. So the, the, the alcohol and drugs begins to start damaging the organs. So that's the physical destruction in terms of the physical health. And then, of course, it's the financial destruction. When a person is in full-blown addiction, they're, they're not thinking about, uh, as time go on, as the disease progress, they're not thinking about um, uh, paying attention to their credit score, paying bills. This could be repossession, foreclosure on the house, the car. So that's the financial destruction that comes along with that. And then, most importantly, as the person progresses deeper into their addiction, there's the spiritual death. You know, they're now are so far removed from their faith, whatever their spirituality is, we will begin to see the spiritual death. And research has validated if the person don't get some help, people who are suffering from the disease of addiction, research have validated they cut their lifespan in half. And I'm here to tell you. So that's the disease of addiction when you look at it from the psychological standpoint, the social, the physical, the financial, and the spiritual. And ultimately, if the person don't get some help, they will they are cutting their lifespan in half. So now, since I've presented disease of addiction from that standpoint, let me just briefly describe what recovery is. And when a person has a spiritual awakening from their disease of addiction, what's going to happen in recovery they're going to restore their faith in God, whatever their faith may be. There's that spiritual awakening. And as they reclaim, because now they're going to reclaim, they're going to recover what was lost. What was lost? The psychological, the social, the physical, the financial, and the spiritual. So now what recovery is, they're going to recover. They are going to reclaim what was lost in true sobriety and recovery. And the first thing they're going to reclaim in recovery is their faith through that spiritual awakening. They're going to reclaim, they're going to recover their financial health. They're going to begin to start fixing their credit, 
They're going to start begin to pay these old bills that they have not been able to pay. They're going to get a job and sustain the job. And they're going to pay the debts, bottom line. In this recovery, as they reclaim their life, they're now going to reclaim their health. They're going to start paying attention to what they eat. They're going to be going to the doctor, paying attention to the lab work, keeping up with their follow-up doctor's appointments. They're going to be able to begin to physically look better because they're going to the doctor. They're not using alcohol or drugs because they have reclaimed and recovered what was lost. And then they're going to reclaim and recover the social, the social aspect of their life. They're going to make amends to all of the people who they're harmed. Rather, it's the mother, father, sister, brother, child. They're going to restore those relationships. They're going to restore the family relationship. They're going to be able to maintain a job and be able to interact with their co-workers and supervisors in a healthy way on the job. And as they recover their sobriety, they're going to reclaim their mental and psychological health. Now, since they've had that spiritual awakening with the, the mental health, it's going to be restored. They're going to have peace of mind. They're going to be able to sleep at night without tossing and turning because the mind is whole through that spiritual awakening. So that's what recovery is to reclaim what was lost when they were in their active addiction. And I'm here to tell you, and when a person reached that point in their life where they're in recovery, in that maintenance stage of recovery, all they got to do is set up a game plan, a strategy plan to sustain it. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I present uh, what is recovery from a different perspective. If you have not subscribed to my channel, help me reach my, reach my uh, January, end of January 2021 goal of 100 subscribers. This channel is nothing without its viewers and subscribers. So with that being said, Simplify, Simple Fidelis, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.